today. From Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, this is Madden Football on EA Sports. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles taking on Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Returning from the zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They'll be let out by Mr. Irrelevant in the 2022 draft. A guy with something to prove. Iowa State's career passing leader. And that's Brock Purdy. And that's not the start that he was looking for. As he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. It'll go as a loss of three right away. And it's second down. And your lateral to the line of scrimmage. Linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you probably talked about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You can go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Hurts. 
He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. Throwing his hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And this will move the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the 49ers 36. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. But first down, Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard, that's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4 of 4 to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, but sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the 49ers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Josh Sweat coming in strong and dropping him behind a line of scrimmage. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. They'll go option on second down, right side. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything. But you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 35. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. 
Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Purdy with it on third and long. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense bait a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big-time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. They start on the ground here at Sanders. Trey Greenlaw in there on the tackle. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Give him nine yards on the scramble there, but it does leave him still a few inches shy with third down looming. Oh, the sneak gets hurt. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. It's a gain of a yard. And the Eagles are going to have a first down. Here's Hurts to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Three yards remain for second down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Hurts sets up to throw it. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch it, turn up field, and pick up the first down. It's a second down run with Sanders. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 41 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Second and nine from the 44. They're going to look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Dallas Goddard. 44 yards, and the Eagles use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. We're still in the first quarter, but it's apparent they're going to have to come up with a different defensive game plan for him because right now he's kind of having his way against that defense and has added a touchdown to the list. How do you slow him down? They're going to have to mix up some coverages, maybe change who's guarding him. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7-0. A 10-play drive that time, and the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. 
And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Second down, McCaffrey. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Purdy. Over the middle, complete. That's Jennings. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a give right side McCaffrey. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll run the option left. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. This will be a loss of three. And now a much tougher third down looming. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Purdy now to throw. This pass to Jennings, and he makes a catch. And he goes out right around the 39. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Fair catch, signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. The Eagles and Jalen Hurts heading back to work. He had the interception on the opening drive, but bounced back to throw a touchdown last time out. And he'll look to build on that as they start first and 10. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Play action. Here's Hurts. Looking here for Smith downfield. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? It certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and press your advantage. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That was a particularly nice play because not only was it his job to force the play inside, he was actually able to fold inside himself and make the tackle ultimately. Very nicely done. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. 
And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. We're all still valiantly searching for the so-called book, right, that tells us what to do in every situation. Everyone kind of knows what it says, but it's never really been written down anywhere. He violated every code on that one, didn't he? <laughs> Deciding to go for it right there. Oh, yeah, your side of the field, this stage of the game, you're supposed to punt the football. He said, who cares? I'm going to light the book on fire. Yeah, analytics, everyone else, be warned. He's coming for you. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. The Eagles on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and four. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 at their own 46. From the shotgun now. And now the ball's out near midfield. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Birdie's throw taken in by Samuel. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. No, bottled up, fumble. It's out, it's loose. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but... I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he'll get about three out of that up to the 39-yard line. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 33 yards that time. Pretty good play by both the thrower and the catcher there, Charles. Third down, showed a lot of trust in his receiver. And what I liked about the play was his receiver's understanding that everything wasn't on time back in the pocket. Rhythm was off a little bit. He adjusted as well and gave them a chance to complete that play. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Down to about the 22 here. 59 yards rushing for him now to this point. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Another run.
run with Sanders. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. They go play action with Hurts. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something real. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles go up by two touchdowns. Elliott on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Purdy looking to throw. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And take it right on the 30. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how do we, have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he's got this one across midfield in the 49er territory. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. On oh, the sneak, it's Hurts. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. I don't know about you, but I like this call. Third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front, just go ahead and take it and move forward and pick up the first down. And as we say often, shows confidence in your offensive line. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. To throw again on second down, Hurts. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball. Never lost sight of where it was headed. And stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. 
He'll look to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back. But that's one step in the proper direction. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. They'll go again with Sanders. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. And quickly, they get to the line. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field, a nickel set for third down. They go back to the ground with Sanders, and he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. We'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. They'll run with Sanders, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And Goddard's got it! Touchdown, Eagles! A great play there! A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you've got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. That drive along the spanning 15 plays. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring them in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. From the 30 on second down, Purdy. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Back to throw, Purdy. Got his target, Samuel. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Purdy to throw it on first down. He'll get this to Jennings over the middle. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. They go play action here, Purdy. 
And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get the football here at their own 40 yard line. They have been struggling to put points on the board so far. And while you don't want to lump it all on the rookie quarterback, he's definitely the root cause. And all rookies, they have those learning experiences in their first year. What they're hoping for is that he can learn. And Hurts is intercepted, his third of the game. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the 49ers are going to take possession of the football. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This officially a 55-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good, and this will stay a three-touchdown game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and 10. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Another run here with Sanders. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Two yards, good enough for a first. They'll set up a throw. Yeah, a quick throw here. That's complete. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. They'll run it, Sanders. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as the tackle made at the 26-yard line. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. And they show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. To throw again on second down, Hurts. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. On first down, it's Purdy. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and it passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Purdy from the gun on third down. And that will be incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. The kick by Gold is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points. 
but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Second down and seven. Now Sanders. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. 162 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. Now Book. Now quick throw there going to be batted away at incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 25 yards the pick up there and also a first down. They finally caught up to him there at the end of the play, but great inside handoff and what a powerful run. The first few yards seemed relatively easy. Then it got tougher, right? And that's where he showed that he was not going to go down easily. He was not going to be denied until he got everything he could out of that run. So the completion results there in nine yards, and that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. They run behind center with Gainwell. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field. And I don't think he got there. So call that no gain on the sneak. And now there's still a yard short here on fourth. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Gainwell is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Just power football there, down near the goal line. Give it to him, he's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in have to report like they're eligible, but all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Elliott Good with a PAT, and they open the lead up now to 25. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, 
This one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Throwing here, Purdy. And it's caught by Jennings. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. A loss of a full three yards. And now it's second down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Got a man. That's IU. So the completion good for six yards. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Here's Purdy. And able to haul it in as Kim. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Now here's the call. Here comes the 49ers punter now. Turn away for the fourth time today. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. 35 yards that time on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Second and 10 now, third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. To throw his book. It's incomplete, took a shot, couldn't connect. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion to the left there and complete to the tight end Goddard and he is stopped just short on third down got nine yards but needed ten I thought they might take a shot down the field but instead they ran a little drag route there I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender but a really good job keeping the play in front of them and they force a fourth down you got nothing. going with their tight end on four and this is going to be an Eagles first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Prior to that, they were two for two on fourth down conversions in this ball game. Now three for three. And you've got to figure their luck's got to run out at some point, doesn't it? I will just tell you from a defense's point of view, someone has to step forward on fourth down and make a play himself because they're just letting it happen to him right now. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports.
try and sneak it here. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Only a yard on the sneak, not what he was hoping for, and it's third down. Yeah, partner, they went a little conservative, didn't they? And they ended up marking it short. And now I wonder, will they even do it again on third down? On third and short to give it a tight end. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Brooks throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. And they're going to speed things up here. Throwing again on second down. Look. And this one is incomplete. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. And they snap him short of the first as he can only get to the 20. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. So on comes the Eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. This will be a 37-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And he is going to have a Niners first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Purdy will look to throw again here. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And just a yard to go here on second down. Shotgun now with Purdy. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. On third down, it's Purdy. Completes it to Samuel. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag, that guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Purdy sets up to throw again. Escaping the pressure right. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. 
seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run, the best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless, take care of the ball on the way out. Back to Gainwell here on second down. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. They want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. On first and ten, it's game well. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 63 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Book now. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Well, straight ahead, it's game well. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. They're going to run this with a tight end. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. Back to Gainwell here on second down. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. They'll try to surge ahead with Gainwell. And they're going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. 
It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Well, the 49ers settling in for their next drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. That's going to be caught by Samuel. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. To throw once more on second and 10. Purdy, and the tackle going to be made at the 38. Now they got to get to the line quickly. On first down, Purdy. Buying time, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Flushed out right. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. That's Samuel caught left side. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this is caught. Well, they get one back, picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. Coaches must really like to see that from the quarterback because he's had the interceptions in this game, but they're able to connect on the touchdown pass. And teammates love to see that because they know that they miss blocks during a game, but they come back and make them later on. They miss tackles, right? They miss making plays, but the spotlight is magnified on your quarterback. And when he stands up to the pressure and comes back and throws a touchdown pass after throwing some picks earlier, they feel great about that guy. And likewise for him personally, as a rookie quarterback, has to give him more confidence. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. Well, they don't need to score here, that's for sure. They could just kneel it. They've got the huge lead late fourth quarter, but we'll see how they're feeling, Charles. Yeah, we all know people out there who like to use every second of the clock, no matter what the score. And we know they don't need the points. They've scored in abundance already. Let's find out how they want to finish this ball game. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, Charles, I mean, when you look at the stat sheet, ultimately one thing sticks out like a sore thumb. One side lost this game because they turned the ball over four times, and that, that was just too much for them to overcome. And that number might as well be a neon because you're exactly right. It just jumps up from the stat sheet. Your eyes go right to it. And with that many turnovers, they really played themselves out of this game. Too careless with the football too many times. That cost them the victory.